Hello traders, this is Elizabeth Belugina and you are watching daily stock market review by Tradimo. The highlight of the day on Wednesday, March 20th will surely be the policy meeting of the US Central Bank, the Federal Reserve. Traders expect dovish tones, comments about fewer interest rate hikes this year and in some information about uh, when the Fed plans to stop reducing its bond portfolio. Uh, the US stock market was uh, propelled up by the expectations of uh, this mild statement of the Federal Reserve. However, the recent sessions uh, were on the downside that often happens ahead of such important events as meetings of the US Central Bank. And uh, whether the Fed uh, acts in line with market expectations or not will determine the further fate of the US stock market and that will uh, have an impact on the fact whether S&P 500 will be able to get higher and overcome resistance uh, levels in the area of 287050 uh, or it will uh, survive a setback towards support in the area of 28.15.75 and a lower to 200 day moving average which is currently uh, located in the area of 27.60. If we look at particular stocks, um, I'd like to mention the story of FedEx. Yesterday, the company reported its earnings and cut its annual profit forecast for the second time in three months. As a result, we see that there was a bearish gap. Uh, the stock found some support um, around 170. But if this level fails, then it will retest the lows of last year around 151 level. The positive dynamics is seen in stocks of Amazon. The uh, stock here has rather good potential. And uh, we can uh, expect that if the stock survives the Federal Reserve's meeting and manages to stay above 200-day moving average in the area of 1730, the way will be open for uh, advance to 18 uh, 100 level or even higher to 1850 mark. Another interesting stock is AMD Advanced Micro Devices. As uh, Google announced that uh, this company's uh, products will be used in its new game streaming services, um, the stock made a big leap to the upside yesterday. However, now it is meeting uh, resistance and is trading in line with the general um, decline of the US stocks. But as long as it stays, stays above uh, 25 uh, support, uh, it will remain uh, retain the chance to make a breakthrough to the upside. And the longer term, the medium term prospects seem fine as well. Finally, some words about the European stock market here of the, there was a decline which uh, happened on some negative news from particular companies. For example, uh, the chemical maker Bayer uh, was actually uh, formed a big gap to the downside. It happened as it lost the first phase of a US trial over claims that uh, the company's uh, weed killer caused cancer. And uh, we can foresee a bigger downtrend for the stock. So um, it uh, is a negative story here. And BMW uh, formed a very big bearish candlestick today as the company warned that its earnings would fall. So, um, of course, this is a negative statement and uh, we know that such statements tend to cause prolonged uh, depression in stocks and uh, we may see that this happens to BMW, the next levels to watch are support in the area of uh, 70. 
this is all for today thank you for watching subscribe to trading more youtube channel and uh, be ready for the federal reserves meeting